So about two months ago I got my very first gimbal, the Zion Crane 2. I was really hyped about this and after working with the gimbal for a while now I can say that it's just awesome. It's super easy to set up, the batteries last for an entire day while also powering my battery and the stabilization just works great. But then there's been the Ronin S. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tom Streller. I'm a filmmaker and on this channel I cover everything filmmaking related. So if you're into this, make sure to subscribe to not miss any upcoming videos. I guarantee you won't regret it. Funnily, the day I put up my first impressions video on the Crane 2, DJI made the Ronin S available for ordering, around half a year after its initial release. So of course, being a fan of DJI for a pretty long time, I felt bummed. Maybe if I would have gotten into a bit more research before getting the Crane 2, I would have waited for the Ronin S. But on the other hand, I needed it for a wedding shot and I couldn't have waited since the first stock of the Ronin S was sold out pretty quickly. So I went back and forth a bit and thought about what to do next. Since I was really happy with the Crane 2, there was actually no real reason for me to sell it to get a Ronin S. Essentially, the Ronin would bring me some more downsides, since it's even heavier than the Crane 2, which would have made my setup with the Sigma 18-35 lens really hard to carry for an entire day. And so I realized that if you already own one of the latest pistol grip gimbals like the Crane 2, the Crane V2, the Moza Air, there's no real reason for you to upgrade or switch to the Ronin S. All these gimbals do essentially the same as. They all work great and use similar technology to stabilize your camera. Also, they all cost roughly the same, so in the end, if you would now go through the hassle to sell your gimbal and buy a Ronin S, you would probably get the same results in the end. The only real advantage I see in the Ronin S is the lowered roll motor, which allows you to see your camera screen better while shooting. But to be honest, since the screens on the Sony cameras are still pretty bad, I would still think about getting an external monitor in the long run, so the switch to the Ronin S would still be obsolete again. Besides that, all these gimbals do the same job and they all work pretty great. So don't stress about new gimbal releases too much, since if you're happy with what you got now, there's no need to get a new one. Especially since the Ronin S seems to have pretty much the same quirks the Crane 2 and other pistol grip gimbals still have. But if you don't own a pistol grip gimbal now and you think about getting one, definitely get the Ronin S, since the lowered roll axis and the detachable battery grip are definitely a plus. So these were just my quick thoughts on this whole debate about the Ronin S versus other pistol grip gimbals. I would love to hear what you guys think on this topic, what gimbals you use and whether you think about switching to the Ronin S. Or if you already made the switch, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Ronin S and how you like it compared to the gimbals you may used before. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more filmmaking related videos like this one. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.